Hey everybody, so today I have here this A1706 2017 13 inch MacBook Pro. It's a nice space gray one, has a touch bar. Uh, it's actually in here because it doesn't have any power and we wanna really go ahead and see really what the issue is. I don't know if there's any liquid spill or anything else to it, but uh, the client said that they, they were just using it and it just kinda of went off on them and it wasn't turning on after that. They couldn't get a charge or anything else. So let's go ahead and take a look at it and see really what the issue is and see what we can do. It actually did turn on and I, I did smell some burning of it so I had, to, I had to stop it for a second. I don't see where it's coming from. It's probably underneath the board. Uh, we're definitely gonna need to go ahead and open up the board. I, def I disconnected the battery connection here just to make sure that there's no problems with that and uh, I'm gonna go open it up because I want to see really where that's, that's causing damage. Man, you could really smell it. So let's go ahead, uh, open it up and take a look. I don't know where it's coming from, but I did smell it. It was really, really uh, potent. So you could really smell it. I don't think it's a battery. I do think it's somewhere on the board here. I don't feel any place really getting warm. I don't see any obvious damage. I don't see really any type of uh, liquid spill that might've been there. Man, I could still smell it. It's really, it's really bad. I should probably, <laughs> I should probably put it on my mask too be a good reason to put on a mask but all right let's go ahead and disconnect everything <clears throat> okay guys I am absolutely blind <laughs> I can see it now <laughs> I can see it by looking at it especially after I removed it but it was there before you guys would probably scream at me and like hey it's right there what are you doing what are you doing you don't know anything what are you doing yep so here is the keyboard connection and right next to that is a capacitor right here there's lots of other capacitors just like it in this area and here is the top part so this is the top part of the board here and right next to the keyboard connection I can't believe I've removed it I didn't even look at it you can actually see it if I back out even a little bit more you have just like that you see that was coming out so so it's always good to have a microscope anyway because just trying to scan everything trying to view everything not seeing smoke and fire come up and what is this cap this is on our PB bus G3 hot rail and that's very essential to make sure that the device powers on Looks like we will mainly just have to replace this cap. We want to be careful, obviously, removing it, replacing it. We'll just get another donor one. All right, so let's get to work. Let's remove it. Now, the thing about any type of burn situation, especially if it's a little melted, that means it can melt to the actual pad itself there. So we also have to make sure that the, the pad is totally clean. So it's going to make a nice connectivity for when we replace our cap here. So we want to make sure all the pads are clean. We can add a little bit of solder to help remove it. We use a hot iron. It's going to make it much easier. It's going to loosen it up a bit more, and then it's going to be easy to remove uh, from there and we're just going to keep removing it make sure it's fine because it needs to make a good contact that's the whole point of this so we're going to be removing this make sure it's all nice and clean make sure everything looks all nice and dandy here uh, if it's not clean it's not going to make good connectivity obviously so we'll make sure the pads are absolutely perfect before putting it back on and you can see this does a really good job too using a little copper wire with some flux is going to do also a good job to help remove the rest of it off because that burn is nasty and you want to make sure you get every little piece of it off. So now you can see it's clean. We can clean it with some alcohol. Make sure it's good. Brush it clean. And then we can make sure we put back around our cap there and make sure it's going to have a nice uh, connection. We want to be careful too because these caps around are actually a NAND. Are part of the NAND flash there. We don't want to damage anything else powering the NAND flash. So that's really it. Just a cap replacement there. Really lucky there's no other extra damage. So everything looks to be good. Let's test it. Alright, so I have it at least back to... Well, I guess I didn't put the battery screw in, so... I guess I didn't do that yet. Let's put that battery screw in. I got everything else good, I think. I just think it should be okay. Definitely want to test it too with it plugged in. See if it's going to give any problems. That was our problem area before. Let's go ahead and see what we get. See if it turns on. Alright. I didn't screw anything else in really, so we'll go at least partial the way up. I don't know if it'll boot on. Probably not. Usually you have to plug it in the first time. Let's grab uh, our voltmeter and see what we get. Alright, so I have it here. Let's go plug it in. See if the house burns down. <laughs> okay, we heard a chime, which is good. That means at least something's charging is recognizing. Oh. Oh, it's already on. Okay. Man, that thing would turn on fast. One area isn't getting that hot and it did Im immediately turn on, which is a good thing. Um, we'll obviously just make sure we test it always make sure there's no other issues with it But it looks to be pretty good. There's not any issues over here at least in this area But you can see it's turning on I'm going to show the 
customer's name, but it definitely turned on, which is good. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video on I'm repairing the 2017 A1706. Uh, MacBook Pro. If you did, please do like. Really does help us a lot. Really supports our small business grow. Please do that. Uh, subscribe for more content. Um, subscribe for more content. We do lots of MacBook liquid spill repairs, data recoveries, lots of fun stuff, software repairs, any cool repairs we see as well. If you're interested in that, please subscribe for more of that. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching. Take care.